Reforestation can range from planting partially grown trees all the way down to a seed. I met with UP inventor Lowell Larson, who proves there's more than one way to plant a nut. If you want to plant oak trees, um, I've developed a tool that I think would really assist any landowner or um, people that have food plots. In 1990s, uh, I had a forester come up and evaluate my land, and he asked me my objectives for my land. And my land, what we use our land for is primarily recreation, hunting, fishing, um, hiking, um, and just family get together. And in his report, he noted that I had, there was an absence of oak trees, which if I'm going to hunt, I have to have food sources for the animals. So I um, asked him then, how am I going to get oak trees growing when there's no oak trees around here? And he said, well, from the acorn would be the best. And I said, well, how do I plant them? He said, well, you'd have to dig a little hole, but an inch and a half and put an acorn in the hole and cover it up and hope the squirrels don't get them and um, you can work from there. I said, I've got to crawl around in the woods planting acorns. I said, there has to be a better way. So that came to uh, the point where I developed this prototype. This was my first prototype. After I planted many acorns, I put the acorn planter away. Hadn't worked with it for years. And along came Invent NMU. We're talking about patenting and ideas that people had. And so I brought it over there. And they thought it was a wonderful idea. And so we went on to uh, working to develop what we call now the squirrel. It took a lot of work, prototyping and so on, and, and patenting process. And, uh, but they worked me through the process. And it worked out very well. I'm in the process of manufacturing now. It's a very simple process. It cores the ground, digs out the hole by pressing this down. As you push this down, it stops at the proper depth and it pulls the core up into the tube. Now, I line it up. We drop the acorn into the guidance tube and the acorn now just fell into the hole and I push the plunger down to release the core back into the ground. Step it down to firm it up. And I move on to the next one. When I'm through planting, you would not know that I went through and put in hundreds of acorns. I do not disturb the ground. If you're trying to plant um, seedlings, you're tearing up the ground. This way, it's just a uh, natural process and hopefully the squirrel doesn't find it in the ground. I name my uh, planter the squirrel because I'm in competition with the squirrel. Gather my acorns in the fall of the year, of course, when the uh, tree uh, drops the um, nuts. Float test them to make sure that the nuts will grow. Uh, those that float, we throw away. The nut has to sink. Those are your better acorns. And I package them in uh, sandwich bags of about 50. If they do happen to go bad, you don't lose a lot of acorns at one time. Put them in the refrigerator in the garage at a temperature of 34 to 38 degrees. They should be in stratification or dormancy after they've fallen for about uh, at least three months. I can plant them in the spring. I also can plant them in the late fall. First of November is excellent. Just before the ground freezes, they will sprout in the spring. This is an excellent way to plant oak trees because it sends a tap root down deep into the ground. Here's two examples of um, white oak that uh, sprouted uh, during stratification. Uh, during the dormancy period as they came out of the uh, nut, they split open, they send out a tap root. Now this tap root gets quite long and then the other part of the um, tree comes out of the ground. So this taproot is critical, and this is what makes planting seedlings difficult because um, getting uh, the taproot down into the ground far enough, and by planting a nut, that does it naturally. So that's two examples of um, nuts that have emerged. That's what's happening underground. Preparing to plant the nuts, 
um, if you're only going to plant the fuel, I uh, cut the bag open and I can use it for a carrying on my belt. I can put it on my belt or you can get a, some kind of pouch to carry your uh, emerging tree nuts. You can walk through an area. I can, if there's not a lot of debris on the ground, I can walk through and put down uh, 300 acorn nuts in an hour. I can walk uh, through and there's nothing that shows that I've been there except the acorns are in the ground and ready to sprout. So we're not tearing up the environment with this method of planting. So there's um, a couple of different key growing times, fall and spring. People that plan on cutting their property, after the cut normally, it's very difficult to get around uh, with branches and so on on the ground. If you can get the acorns in the ground, November, first part of November, they'll be in stratification or dormancy until spring. After the cut has been made during the winter, the acorns are already in the ground and they're ready to go as soon as uh, spring uh, breaks. We can also plant them in the spring, early April, as soon as the snow leaves the ground, and you can start pushing the uh, acorn planter into the ground. You can start planting the nuts before they, as they start to merge from the nut. If there's a burnout area, excellent. If you want to get into an open area where um, the sun will um, be beneficial. You don't want to get in a too heavy a cover. Oak trees, like a lot of plants, they have to have the sunlight. So you want to be able to plant them in the open, burned out areas, cut over areas. Um, they're all excellent. Or you can prep an area yourself. Take out some trees um, so the light gets to the ground. You can um, make your own little opening. You don't have to necessarily do a big cut. You can just open it up uh, so the sun gets to the ground and uh, you can um, plant some acorns that way. It takes about 20 years to start producing acorns. There's a variety of wildlife that benefit from acorn production. It's an excellent food source for bear, deer, turkeys love them. Uh, I've seen blue jays fly by with them. Grouse will eat them. Ducks will eat them. It's not a quick fix, but it's a fix to help uh, animals in the future. Um, if we plan now, it will provide great food source for many uh, wildlife um, that depend on um, acorns. By developing a squirrel and planting uh, acorns to develop into nice oak trees in the future and a food source, I'm doing it primarily for the future. Um, my grandson Isaac here, he, he, I hope, will benefit when I'm gone and the trees are producing the acorns.